Okay, is everybody here? Present! Yeah, I'm here. Alright, today we are going to rank all the Sonic Racing games. So let's get this started. First we have Sonicer, the controls are awk, and the game of play is pretty good for its time. I'll give it a B tear. It's a C for me. There is only five stages and getting the Chaos Emeralds is an annoying task. Um, than that, it's an okay game. I'm gonna have to agree with Knuckles. While it's still fun, it's kind of limited when it comes to content. But I get it. Hardware limitations. C tier. I can settle for that. Sonic! What happened to your voice? Yeah, the creator used the Sonic X voice instead of the one from the games. But now it's fixed. Now on to Sonic Riders. And this is an immediate S tear. Yep. Yeah. Now on to Sonic Riders Zero Gravity. While it did remove mechanics like drifting and tricks, it still has enough to make it a fun experience. Bater. I agree. Wait, didn't they give the drift mechanic to the wheel? That's true, but it doesn't seem as good as the previous game. Anyways, A tier. Now on to Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. Is tier. This game is a blast to play with things such as sneaking, making sharper drifts with the D-pan and unique all-star moves. Truly a classic. While I do agree with most of your points, I'm gonna have to give it an A tier. While the character selection is great, there could have been a bit more series representation with the tracks. The only series with tracks are Sonic, Billy Hatcher, Super Monkey Ball, Samba Diamigo, and House of the Dead. Sorry Knuckles, gonna have to agree with Sonic on this one. I'm fine with the A tier. Now onto Sonic and All-Stars Ray! Sonic! No, you did not just do that! Uh-huh! What did I do? You know damn well Sonic Free Riders is F-tier! Yeah! Even though the tracks are just as good as the previous two games, it doesn't save the fact the controls are the worst thing I've ever seen! Even the story mode is bad! With PNGs for cutscenes! Bad narrative! And again, bad controls! This is the worst game in the Riders series! So, uh, -huh. the tear. If tear it is. Oh, next is my favorite game, Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed. I'm giving it an A tier. The tracks look beautiful, models of the characters and carts are really good. There are more Sega characters from other franchises and even guest characters. Plus the new boat and plane modes provide a no-play style. Well, that's true and all. There's a couple of things that make this game a B tier for me. For one, I heard that Billy Hatcher was scrapped due to the developers unable to figure out how his vehicle would work before the deadline. You are able to add Metal Sonic, Rio, Alex Kidd, and the PC guest characters into the game. They even added a YouTuber as DLC for the PC version, although the funds go to charity, so I don't have much of a problem with that. My second problem is that the tricks are just flips. They show no personality of the characters and are just plain boring. And my third and final problem are the all-star moves, as they are basically downgrades compared to all-stars racing. I got to agree with Sonic. Every all-star is basically this. Area of effect. Projectile. Roaming projectile. It's all the same. I get why they did this, but they still could have gotten a bit more creative. They turned my ground pound all-star into an AOE race skin. Sorry, Tails. It's B tier for me. Same here. All right, fine. B tier is. Now to the final game on this list, Team Sonic Racing. D tier. D -tier. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. While it does keep the crappy flips from Transformed, it actually brings back the team mechanic from Sonic Heroes. Also, the items are always, so that's pretty cool. There are still problems with this game though. I've heard that Cream can't drive, which makes sense, but she's able to use a hoverboard on tracks that literally have oncoming traffic in Sonic Riders. Plus her and Pixel younger than Cream, but are still able to drive. And for team feature, why is Vector a part of the team? When he has his own. And I forgot about Savok. Why is he even working with Eggman? Although, must admit, this game has the best looking tracks in the series. I also have a problem with the game. That being the speed. It's like you move slower when you drift. And the turbo you get from drifting leaves little to no impact. And the new team boost is the worst ultimate of the three games. All it does is play character's theme and makes them drive faster. While allowing them to hit others. This also doesn't make much of a difference in a race. Especially if your team is in the lower positions. Two more problems that I have is that there's no post-game content, and the no-team races just make me want to play Transform instead. 
I see what you mean, plus the game is just transformed without the boat and plane mode, so it's just pretty boring. I think it should be C-Tear. It's still a bit better than Sonic R. I see. I agree, I see. Then it's settled, C-Tear. So, does the list look good to you guys? Looks pretty good. Looks fine to me. Well, that was fun. You know what isn't fun. Sonic Free Riders. Alright, Knuckles, I guess.